It's finally here, Star Wars. Two decades ago, tweens and teens fell in love with the three fresh-faced brothers of Hanson when they released their massively addictive hit, Umbop. <laughs> now, selling almost 16 million albums, they're all grown up, married, and get this, have 12 children between the three of them, and they are still making music. They are hitting two big milestones this year, celebrating their 25th anniversary and the release of their second Christmas album, Finally, It's Christmas. Please welcome Zach, Taylor, and Isaac Hanson. celebrating 25 years as a band together. That's a long time. I mean, uh, even though your brothers, how have you managed to keep it together? I mean, has it gone smoothly all the way, or has there been rough? I mean, places? we were in a big old argument yesterday, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's going. It's the going is that you, you, you never stop arguing. Yeah, you know? so that's just the norm? We're really different people. I mean, I can are both wearing suits, but I rarely wear one. You can see just the way we dress, the way we, the things we're interested in outside of music. we we all have our own little zones, you know. I think that's, I think that's part of it. And with our families, I mean, we have incredibly close families. The cousins are really close. But I think who we are and the roles we play, yeah. we don't really step on each other's toes that much, except for the fact that we all have opinions about everything. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> yeah. Of course you yeah. do. That's yeah. like, wait, wait, we don't step on each other's toes that much? Yeah, we, we step on each other's toes. <laughs> And we we all have our own um, we have our own way of getting there. I think that the the metaphor would be like there's an island. We're all going there. We're, we want to get there. But one guy's on a speedboat. One guy's on a hand glider. Another guy's in a canoe. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you guess who's in a canoe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, let me ask you this because you guys know Jordan, my son, and yeah. so you know he's a musician. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you for parents that are out there that have a kid that wants to make it in the music business mm -hmm. what's your advice because i know it's tough i mean it's, it's not easy it's not easy to make it and then it's not as glamorous as it looks oh definitely not i mean well, for, for one i think that i think you know despite all of the cribs episodes on mtv back in the day and all those kind of things uh being a musician especially being a traveling touring musician which is ha what you have to do to make a living is actually surprisingly blue collar work. It's a yeah. very, it's a very day in, day out. Wake up early, go to bed late, do it again. If you get into doing it because you believe that you deserve the spotlight, or you you believe you're destined to be the biggest star in the world, and like the chances of that happening is almost none. Yeah, exactly. Like, but if you get into it because you have an aspiration to sort of heal people through writing songs about life and through sharing sort of. Uh, your your experience with other people that you care about, then you can almost not fail at that. Like it's yeah. almost impossible to fail. At You're doing gonna that. find somebody that it resonates right. with. Right, yeah. and, and resonates with you. I mean, really, on a personal your, your choice to do music. I mean, we would do music to a you know a crowd of ten or a crowd of ten thousand. Tell me about your, your Christmas album. Finally, it's Christmas. This yeah. is your second Christmas album. Yeah. Twenty years ago, we we made a Christmas record, and to be frank, our our uh, partner that we're releasing the record with, Steve Greenberg, that first signed us, he was the first person to say you should do it, and we first thought, oh gosh, Christmas albums. Um, you know, is that going to be a cheesy thing to do? But it was an amazing thing, and to do. And we made a record called Snowden. Yeah. And so here, as we are celebrating this anniversary, we really thought, you know. This is the time to reprise this this idea of a Christmas record because the special thing about Christmas records is one you're touching on something that so many people have such a strong connection to, yeah. but also if you do strike that chord, people do bring it back year after year, and we all know what that experience is like. You have the album, you have the food, you have the bad sweater, yeah. and so we needed 20 years since the first one to think up enough songs to feel good about the next one, um, and so it's it's a little bit rock and roll. It has you know you know a lot of covers that are. Songs we thought we could do well, like Winter Wonderland and All the Way From Christmas from Ryan Carey. A little Carey. bit of church in there. Yeah, Absolutely. there's definitely some church in there. And yeah. um, and then there's Got some that. original songs. You guys want to hear them perform? <laughs> no? All right. Uh, coming up, Hanson takes 
the same for some holiday cheer. You are not going to want to miss this. We'll be right back. Now, I apologize in advance, but you're going to have this song stuck in your head for the rest of your life. So let's get into the Christmas spirit with Hanson's new release, Finally It's Christmas. Take it away, guys. Did it right, right? Okay. And uh, here's some better news. The brothers have a new CD out. Finally, it's Christmas, and everybody in the audience is going right to the Bob is in the holiday spirit as well, and she wants everybody to be looking good while they're listening to Finally, it's Christmas. So you have a gift box for everyone yes, as well, I right? Do. It has the up, up, and away for the neck and decollete area. It also includes the welcome back you retinol serum. We all know how important retinol is for the skin. Also, the eyes have it. It's perfect for getting rid of those dark circles, crow's feet, and it really brightens the eyes for the holiday. Okay. Don't yes. forget about your finger. You'll see I'm wearing it. It's the bow ring eye design. Yes. 
Of course, I designed this for myself and all of the women that are very dear to me in my life. And I have one included in every gift box for all of you women out there. Thank you. Everybody in the audience is going home with a Mary and Wright gift box as well. If you aren't at home, you can go to RobertMcGraughRevelation.com. If you want to be in the audience, go to drphil.com. Click Get Tickets, Dr. Phil. I want to thank my guests today. And as we leave you, one last holiday treat from Hanson. We're talking about their special. I'll be sure and pick this up because, guys, we listened to this last night at home. I'm telling you, it's good. So as we leave, here's Hanson with one more as they sing Joy to the Mountain. Happy holidays, everyone. Jesus!